Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm gonna to show you how I curl my hair and this is my finished result after curling it today. So if you'd like to see how I curl my hair, then please keep watching. So as you can see, my hair is really, really frizzy right now. This is because I let it dry naturally last night after I washed it and then I brushed through it. So it turned really frizzy since I have curly, wavy hair. If I brush through it once it's dry, it's gonna turn super duper frizzy. So the first step that I've been doing to curl my hair, since I do have curly frizzy hair, is I straighten the top pieces first. And I did already do that, that's why if you look at the top areas of my hair, it does look a little bit more smooth. And I do that because in my experience when I haven't done this in the past, if I don't straighten the top of my hair, or like the first three inches of my hair, all around my whole head, it'll be frizzy towards my scalp, if you know what I mean, and then curly, like nice waves on the ends, and it just doesn't look good. I would section it off like this, and you can use like a clip or a ponytail. I just have a ponytail, so I'm using that. And I already did this, so I'm just gonna show you what I would do. I would just grab a piece of hair, and then I would put the straightener on it, and straight into about right here. Just the first two to three inches of my hair, just so that the area of my hair that is close to my scalp is smooth. So that way when my hair all lays down, it's gonna be smooth. And then the ends, I don't wanna straighten because I wanna leave those like my natural hair. Cause once you apply heat and straighten your hair, it's gonna be really hard to curl those sections that you've already straightened because it just wants to go back to being straight. That is my main tip. If you have curly frizzy hair, especially around like underneath the back of your hair. I would really recommend using a straightener, just focusing on those areas. So what I do to curl my hair is I work in sections, just like if I was straightening my hair. Basically grab my hair above my ear and go all the way to the back. And then just section that off as if I was gonna do like a half up, half down style and put this into a little mini bun just to get this hair out of the way so that I could focus on the bottom half of my hair. Okay, so once I section off my hair and have the bottom section, I just brush through it to make sure it's all nice and smooth and doesn't have any tangles. And then here is my curler. This is from Connor, and just one of their basic curlers that has the little clamp. Okay, I think this is in a one and a quarter inch barrel, but I could be wrong. I'm pretty sure it's one and a quarter inch though. So I just grab a section like this. You wanna grab enough so that it's going to stay underneath the clamp, but not too much so that it will actually heat up the hair. So I just grab it towards the end, let it go, then start twirling it. And then on the bottom, I let it go a little bit so that it's going all the way to the bottom. And then I just wrap it around. And since there's this plastic on the top, it's not gonna burn you if you touch it. You know, you have to make sure your curler does this. But this one specifically, the top isn't hot because it has this plastic little thing to protect your fingers. So I just wrap it all the way to my scalp but be careful so you don't burn your scalp. And then I just hold it for, I don't really count how long I do it, but I think it's probably around 10 to 15 seconds, something like that. You could kind of like experiment with your hair to see how long it takes for it to curl and have a curl hold. It just kind of depends on your hair type. I have really thin, fine hair. And then once I'm done, I let it go a little bit, but it's still clamped in there. And then I let it go very gently. And then there's a curl. But I try not to touch it because I want it to set like that. I want it to cool down with that shape so I don't want to mess with it too much. So I just kind of like let it go and push it to the back. And then I just grab another section. You could do alternating like curling towards your face and curling away from your face if you want to make it look more like beachy waves. But I just kind of like to do it all the same direction just because I kind of let it go and be more loose curls and then it just kind of all like blends together. I don't know how to explain it. You'll see once I'm done. But you can do it with whatever you like. If you want it to look more like beachy waves, you could do alternating curls going towards your face and away from your face. For this hairstyle, I just basically curl away from my face the whole time. And then just very lightly let it go so you don't disrupt it. Basically just do the same thing on each section of hair. Just do the same thing just until you curl all of it. You just want to make sure you keep the curler on your hair long enough so that it holds the curl and really sets it in place, but not too long where you're gonna burn off your hair or anything or damage it. So just see what works for you. And what makes it really, just really helps to make it a lot easier and faster when you're curling your hair or straightening your hair, basically doing any kind of styling, is to just make sure you section off your hair. It makes it so much easier to section it off and it makes it so much faster. So just doing the same thing, same thing over and over.
And since my ears stick out, I fold it down so that I could get all the way to the root of my hair or as far as I can to the root without burning my ear. That's just what I gotta do because my ears are kind of big and they stick out. Oh, and a little fun little fact. If you notice that my hair is like really short here, um, it's because Bambi, my little doggy, chewed it off. She's a little savage. So she likes to like chew on my hair. She's liked to do that since she was a little baby, like a tiny little two pound little pug. She's like to chew on my hair. It just like, she basically acts like my hair is her chew toy. And I let her do it because she's never done any damage and I don't actually let her eat my hair or anything. She's never done anything. She's never like broke off my hair or anything. And this one day, she was chewing on my hair for like a long time. And then she walks away and she has a big clump of hair sticking out of her mouth. And it was like all my hair in the front. She just like cut it off with her teeth like scissors. Like she didn't pull it out of my scalp. It's like she literally used her teeth as scissors. So I lost some hair. So now I have some short pieces in the front on this side and not this side. But once it's all down, you can't tell too much. But I was like so sur I was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe she did this. Once I have it all done, I kind of just run my fingers through it, just in case anything is a little bit frizzy. Just run my fingers through it gently. I don't want to disturb the curls too much. This is basically how I want it to look. It's like kind of like just loose curls all over and all the curls kind of blend together since I did them all in the same direction away from my face on each side. You could leave it like this, but I like to use a little bit of hairspray because my hair doesn't hold a curl that well. I use the Big Sexy Hair Get Layered Flash Dry Thickening Hairspray. It's in this bottle and this is just like one of those hairsprays that dries like immediately as soon as you spray it on your hair and it's supposed to add volume and texture to your hair but also adds hold but it doesn't end up feeling too like sticky and uh crunchy like some hairsprays do so this has pretty good hold but it's not like super strong i basically just spray it around the bottom just so all the curls kind of hold on the bottom To kind of like lift your hair up so that it kind of creates more volume and texture so it looks like I have more hair than I do but this just works because it's one of these like volumizing hairsprays that is supposed to make your hair look fuller and then you can do it in the back too but I like using this because it doesn't make your hair feel super crunchy or sticky and it just adds like kind of like a light hold, nothing that's too heavy. That's basically how I curl my hair now that I have short hair. I just want to do this video because I'm someone that has really struggled with styling my hair over the years, like probably since middle school or high school, ever since I've tr started trying to curl my hair, I've never been able to get, get it to last throughout the day. I finally figured out a way to curl my hair to let it last throughout the day. And I just wanted to share my technique with you because I'm someone, like I said, that struggled with curling my hair over the years. And the only times I've ever had my curls last before this was when I would go to a salon. This is something that can work for you if you either have hair that is very difficult to curl and doesn't hold a curl very well, or if you have curly wavy hair that maybe it holds a curl, but you can't really smooth the top 
parts of your hair that are close to your scalp. So that's this is what I do just to help my hair look smooth, but then the bottom to be curly. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video, and thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Oh, okay. Yeah. What was that? The hot? I didn't know that my brush got hot because it was touching the curler. Oh. <laughs> uh,